Okay, before we get going on this question, I thought I'd just do a very, very, very brief recap on the transformations. Basically, if you have numbers on the outside of a function, like we have here, a cosine x plus b, then that's an up-down change. Whereas if you have numbers like b inside brackets, then that's a left-right change. Okay? So let's just think about any old function. Here's one, f of x, it's some kind of curve. Okay? And you've got the input on the x-axis and the y is the out. Sometimes the y is called the y-axis, sometimes it's called the f of x-axis. Okay? Y is the same thing as the output, f of x. So let's say uh, I wanted now to construct y is equal to 2 f of x. Well, that's going to stretch everything in the up-down direction because the 2 is outside the bracket. Yeah. So if the, uh, the curve was only 1 below the x-axis, uh, when I want to construct y equals 2 f of x, it's going to come now 2 below. It's stretched from the x-axis, from these two points. So anything on the x-axis times by 2 obviously stays where it is. OK, so that's the uh, sideways. What about if I want to go uh, x minus 2? Well, that's a left-right change. It's inside the brackets. And we're going to move it to the right two numbers. If it had been x, f of x plus 2, I'd move it to the left. Now here's my bog standard cosine wave. It goes, as you know, between 1 and minus 1. It cuts through 0, 90, and 270, and it's at minus 1 at 180, 360. You just need to know that graph, cosine graph. Okay. So let's get going now on the um, on the actual question. So here it is. Now I'm going to actually, I'm probably going to sketch on a cosine curve, an ordinary one. So uh, you know, 0 at 90. Um, I put that in the wrong place, I apologise. That should be below the 180 and minus 1. OK, now I'm going to sketch my curve on. I think I realise now that I've just made a mistake, but uh, I'm sure I'll... Uh, yeah, I'm going to realise now. <laughs> there we go. OK, doesn't matter. Right, so that's the basic cosine shape. So it's gone from being only one high, it's gone up to being two and a half high. And it's been going from minus 1 down to minus two and a half. So it looks like the number on the outside of the brackets is multiplying everything by two and a half. So I think my A number is going to be 2.5. But also, do you see the, um, the highest point of my graph? I'll just go back to it now. The highest point of my graph is not matched up with the highest point of the ordinary cosine wave. It's been moved to the right 60. Now, we would think it would be plus 60, isn't it? But no, it's gone to the right, so it's going to be minus 60. OK, and that's the two numbers that we needed, 2.5 and minus 60. Right, let's move on to the next part. We've got some other different kind of function. Uh, if I were you, it would make it easier. Just draw any old any old thing, OK? Any old curve, OK, which has got a minimum point at 4, 5. So I'm going to draw a happy face quadratic, OK? There it is, and that bottom bit is at the point 4, 5. Now, if I want to have f of 2x, now that 2 is inside the bracket, so it's a left-right change, and it's going to affect the x-coordinate only, not the y-coordinate. It's going to be halved. It's the reciprocal of that number. So it's going to be 2 and 5. Whereas, if I don't do into the graph, but I do minus 7 on the outside of the bracket, it's a up-down change. It was 5 high, but I'm going to bring it down 7, so it's going to become minus 2 high, but you see the x-coordinate hasn't changed. And there you have it. Okay, so it wasn't actually as bad as it looked initially. Um, right, so let's get on to the mark scheme. Oh no, the examiner's report first. Um, right, yeah, we've got to remember inside the brackets is an x change. Outside the brackets is a y change. Alright. Uh, let's look at the mark scheme. Let's see how we did. Um, 2.5, A minus 60, yep, lovely. 2.5 and 4 minus 2. Good. We've all got 4 marks there. 